Um, well, brain injury is not a simple thing to understand. It's very, very complicated, so it's not simple like a broken leg. Um, all brain injuries are different because you can have brain hemorrhage, brain tumour and other things. But with me, I get very, very tired um, and I have short-term memory and I have lots of hidden deficits which people can't see. Um, well, when I woke up, I couldn't see, talk or walk. I couldn't swallow and I was incontinent. But I started to, well, I started to sort of try and communicate. So my mum would write questions um, on a board and I would have to either nod or shake my head. I think for a while she said I could only blink for a yes and then eventually I started to take a few steps on my own. I can't remember things easily and have to have tasks broken down. So if my mum at home was to give me a task I'd have to get her to break them down after I've done the first and second thing. So there's various different effects that a child could have if, could have if they had a brain injury. Um, some children may have physical symptoms, so they may have headaches, they may have difficulties with movement, they may have altered sensations, or they may experience seizures. Um, some children might experience fatigue, or they may have difficulties with attention and memory. Uh, a lot of children will have difficulties with communication, so they'll, they might have difficulties expressing themselves or understanding language. Some children might have emotional behavioural difficulties, so some can get angry and frustrated, or they may have difficulties regulating their emotions or expressing their emotions appropriately. Um, but a lot of the difficulties associated with brain injury can be hidden, so they might not always be immediately obvious. It's important that those around the child understand that the child had a brain injury and they're aware of the associated impact and so that they can support as needed. Some things that help are uh, children who might, um, if they've got memory difficulties, they may benefit from um, using systems such as writing things down, using a planner or visual prompts. Um, children who experience fatigue may need breaks throughout the day and they may also need access to a room or a quiet area so that they can get away for a little bit. Um, sometimes they might need extra time, so often having time to process language and formulate their response can be really helpful. Um, and sometimes children who have communication difficulties or difficulties with initiation might, have, um, might need extra support to express if they need help or if they need a break. So they can benefit from having a prompt card that they can carry around and then show to teachers or other people if needed. Um, and then some might require more specific help from professionals. So they might access support from speech and language therapists, occupational therapists, psychologists, uh, physios um, and things like that.